I have this routine on the weekends. Um, Saturday, I do the yard. Costco, Walmart, all that kind of stuff, just kind of get ready for the week. And then on Sundays, I like to come outside and I like to just devote my time to enjoying this season. In Utah, we don't have a long summer. And so when the weather is nice, I really love to be out here. So some of the things that I, I always ask for, especially during this season, is show me, show me hummingbirds, show me, you know, the beautiful yellow butterfly that shows up. I just ask for specific things that I want to be seen. And so when I come out on Sundays, if I don't take the time to stay outside, I may miss it. The hummingbirds may come, the butterflies may come, but if I'm not around to see it, I'm gonna miss it. I have to make myself available to see the blessings that I want. That's what we need to think about when we are asking God, universe, whatever you wanna call it. When we are asking for things, are we available to receive? Are we in a state that we're ready to receive it? Or are we still doubting? You know, if you, if you ask for something and you've got a stick and on one end you're asking, but on the other end you're saying it's not gonna happen. Like, it's not gonna happen. Um, too many things are against it. It never works out. Whatever it is, you can't have a tug of war going on because you're not gonna get this answer and you're not gonna get this answer. Whatever is the predominant feeling is what's going to come. So when you ask, you have to expect it to come. You don't have to expect it to come the way you think it should or on your specific timing or however you think like this is how it's going to happen. You need to be open to however the universe wants to surprise and delight you. Think about those words. Show me today surprises and delights that I know this is all in sync with what I've, I'm asking for. So another way that you can keep yourself available to receive what you want is by gratitude. So I know we talked about this before, when you ask for something, I know it's hard because we tend to want to keep asking and keep asking and keep asking and we think we're being faithful. We think that we're being doing the right thing by saying it again and again and again. But remember the intelligence of God the universe, again, whatever you want to call it, is, is so much greater than us that we don't need to keep asking for it. We need to let it go. And so when you ask for something and you have complete faith that somehow, some way, at the right time it's going to come and you let it go, which I know can be really hard to do, start focusing on other things or start these type of affirmations. I am so blessed right now. I am, um, I am so abundant in health right now. I am so blessed in my bank account right now. I have the most wonderful relationships right now. You start affirming what you want and you start affirming it now. That is declaring what you want and that you are ready. You just have to have a path of least resistance that's open to you. I know I've said this before, but if y'all jumped in a tube and you want to float down the river and you decided to turn and you're going to get out of the tube, you're going to hold on to it and you start kicking your legs and you want to go upstream, that's a hard battle. That's really hard. You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to be tired and probably the momentum of the current is going to keep pulling you downstream. Okay? Decide what your momentum is. Where are you with your momentum and what is the driving force? Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna think about, I'm gonna get in my tube and I'm just gonna drift. I'm gonna let it carry me because it's got me. It knows where it's going. Same thing with what our desires are. I put it out there, here's a hummingbird. I put it out there and now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the universe just deliver it to me in the most wonderful, delicious way. Thank it. Thank you, whatever you are asking for. Say it's money. Thank you, abundance of money. Thank you for already being in my life. Thank you so much for landing yourself in my bank account. Thank you so much for all the opportunities that I have to grow this blessing. Thank you so much for the ways that I get to bless other people's life by this blessing. Um, let's say it's health. Thank you so much for my whole and healthy body that I enjoy so much right now. 
thank you lungs that you are holding all of this wonderful delicious air that's keeping me alive thank there's another hummingbird thank you so much um, senses that i get to enjoy everything about my life what i see and what i hear what i taste what i smell what i touch these are things that as you're still focused on what you want, you're already giving thanks to it. That is how you bring it to you because you're offering no resistance. If you were sitting and you were thinking, okay, okay, I have a bill coming up on Wednesday and I really, I really need this money to come. Please let it come, please let it come. I don't know how it's gonna come. I have no idea. Like I don't have anything that I can see right now. You know what I'm saying? You start this dialogue. You start this dialogue that pretty much keeps you going upstream, pretty much keeps you from taking the path of least resistance, floating downstream and letting it come to you. Everything we want is downstream, which means there is no resistance in what we're asking for and what we are expecting. We are expecting the best because we deserve it, because we are worthy of it, because God, the universe wants to give it to us. What we want, wants us as well. Always think about it that way. What I want, wants me too. Okay, I'm lining up so that I am ready to receive. Came out here this morning, turned this on, and I've already seen three hummingbirds because I wanted it. No resistance. I let it go, put it out there, let it go and just expected it to come. That's what you guys can do. Start saying what you want right now. Give it, give it confirmation and give it thanks that you have it right now. So happy that I'm whole and healthy and, and I'm feeling great right now. Even if you don't, you're saying it. You're reprogramming your subconscious mind so that you are telling your body what is happening and then your body will follow suit. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining in on my channel. I'll be back next time for something else.